I just made a badass light bar for the back of my iMac. I'm gonna show you how we did that because we just experimented. We didn't know if it was gonna work. I think it turned out pretty cool. Let me know in the comments below if you agree. All right, let's go back and see how we made this thing. This is gonna be weird. I don't often mess with addressable LED stuff, but today I'm gonna be doing this little light bar. I'm getting ready to stick it in my office. So if you look in here, this is where we're doing a lot of the work right now that has nothing to do with automotive. That's just chopping up the videos, doing the stuff, working with John, and even working with other businesses, software companies, cool stuff. I'm excited about it. And I just wanna have a stupid light bar back <laughs> behind the monitor there. So this is gonna be an experiment of how do I power up some cool addressable LEDs and stick it behind my, my monitor and make it look dope. And I'm actually gonna get power from USB. So I'll show you what I was about to do. I almost took this old computer power supply and this five volt converter, even though this thing puts out five volts and I didn't even think about it, I'm wasting this whole part if I hook it up the way that it is right now. But even more dumb than that is I have USB outlets that I installed in that room when I built it and they put out five volts. So we're gonna go test a USB little control plug thing and we're gonna see which wires that we need to tap into to get five volts and then plug it into this addressable LED little controller, this little guy right here. It's an SP110E, yeah, I don't know. And then we'll get to plug it in and control it with Bluetooth behind my computer. Should be dope. So let's go find out if it's gonna work. So if you look, this is a regular USB cord and it's got four wires inside of it. So what I need to do is strip the ends. I'm pretty sure it's the green wire and the black wire, but I could be wrong. So I'm gonna try to strip the ends and I'm gonna test it after I plug it in. I'm just gonna plug it into this little outlet that I have right here. And I know that this thing is putting out power. And I just need to make sure that I'm getting five volts. What is that? Nothing. Oh, three. Negative three. Okay, so that's not right. So next I'm going to test the red and black. That is a loud ass lens, you hear? That is. Hey, why do we never use this camera in that lens? I don't know. Makes sense. <laughs> I use it for live streaming. Nothing. Oh, five volt. Is it? Yep. It's showing negative five volts. So black is oh, positive. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's crazy. Okay. So if black is positive. Five volts. Red is negative. Tight. Okay. I think what I'm going to do, because this is so sketchy, I'm just going to solder these wires up. So let's get our quad hands ready. Make a little patch connection for this. Got to get my favorite stripper. What's the name of your favorite stripper? <laughs> Let's get those things tinned up and ready. Red in this case is negative. Black is positive. Coo, coo. He shrink here. Dope. Okay, now we should be able to plug this thing into the wall and it should just work. Hey, we're filming. Stop freaking screaming. Now. <laughs> Dead, <baby>. <laughs> <laughs> plug this thing in and scared hey is that it Ooh, on point that's dope what i don't know is how visible that's gonna be on this because if you look this is where i'm actually filming over to there so i've got this light that will be turned on to show my face and then that is gonna hopefully be putting up some light in the background so we'll see if that works next so this is this is why I'm usually one that's not talking about using addressable LEDs. Here we are setting up a little light bar in a dark room. Like it's dark in here. It's not, it's not super bright at all. And this thing's not bright enough to cast light to be noticeable. Even with all the colors of the rainbow, it's just not an awesome thing to have to create any sort of effect on this wall. I yeah. just thought of something. Take off the diffuser. I can. Yeah, let's try it. Maybe that'll be brighter. All right, let's give it a shot. That That's like a two second experiment. Wow. Okay. And how much better does that look? That actually, actually it does look better. It. Yeah. If we're to cut it like to the size of the computer, you yeah. wouldn't be able to see it. I've made a little mark where I'm going to cut this right here, but I'm also going to trim this little inside piece so that we can run the wires. Cause we basically just want to see just the same exact aluminum as like how the top of my iMac looks. And we want it to just kind of look like that. But then all of the light is going to be at a 45 degree angle shooting up at the wall. And we don't want to see this guy. So we're just going to change things up a wee bit right now. I'm actually going to lift this whole strip off. 
I have no idea how sticky this is. Doesn't look like it's too hardcore. And then I can even cut the LED strip now once I get to this one. Sketchy. Cut my LED strip. Cool. I can go there. So this now, I'm just gonna be able to make it look better. And we know that we're gonna cut it right here. So I'm just gonna use a Dremel. I bet you, you know what I could do? I bet you I could just use my Milwaukee multi-cutter. I bet I'll just you eat right so? through the aluminum. It might be loud and annoying, but it'll work. Jeez, that was not an efficient way to do it. But it worked really well. So that was stupid. <laughs> any, any excuse to use Milwaukee tools in videos, I'd do it. <laughs> so we can check and see if it works. It looks stuck. It does, right? Eh, that's pretty cool. It was an accident that it turned out as good as it did. And matter of fact, I should probably just hide the LEDs on the other side so that you really just can't see them. All right, well, I have thermal tape and I'm using the double-sided tape because John was showing me on the back. There's actually contact points right here that technically touching the aluminum could bridge. And so with the thermal tape on the aluminum and then that sticky translucent tape on the back of the strip, we should be all good to go right now. And I've also got some more thermal tape doubled up on the bottom. So I think literally all we have to do right now is stick this thing to the top of the monitor and plug them in and enjoy them. Keep in mind, this was a completely out of the blue random thing that I thought might be cool. And it looks like that's it. Just gotta decide what animation looks the coolest on the back side of this thing. Okay, you tell me, should I build these things and make them available to you? Or do you think that this is better to just leave as a DIY project with all the Amazon links that I did stick below in this video? I wanna know, I wanna hear back. And also, just comment, did you watch this whole video? It was kinda long and weird, but I thought it was pretty dope. I think it turned out awesome, and I'm excited to share and see what you guys do with this video. All right, I'll see you next one, see ya.